Hi guys, welcome to my channel Lush Gardener. I hope you guys are fine and are safe. So guys, a lot of you have been asking me questions how to take care of succulents during the monsoon season. Now guys, it's pretty simple, but yes, you need to follow certain precautions in order to keep your succulents safe. And that's exactly what we are going to be talking in this video. So as we all know that succulents belong to arid and dry conditions, that is how the natural habitat is. Apart from that, in the world of succulents, there are only two seasons. One is summer and winter according to these two seasons they tend to either go dormant or they either go non-dormant so what about the monsoon season now guys this is where it gets slightly tricky because a lot of us live in tropical environment wherein we tend to receive a good amount of rainfall for four to five months now ideally in these conditions if the succulents are left open definitely they are going to get overwatered. there is going to be so much of moisture that the succulent might end up getting rotted so before i start talking about the details of taking precaution during the monsoon season let's see what are the positive sides of monsoon season now guys the best thing about monsoon season is that the temperatures are going to drop if you are aware that your summer temperatures were really high and your succulents were getting dehydrated every now and then possibly some people were also having issues with dry rot and the temperatures were really high due to which your succulents were not performing quite well well now there won't be any issue of dehydration the temperatures are going to be cool the succulents will love it apart from that you are going to get free source of water and which is rain water now rain water is excellent for succulents but remember only when the soil dries completely that is when you are going to water so guys rain water contains a good amount of ph level which is very essential for succulents because succulents tend to like a soil that is slightly acidic and rain rainwater is going to work out well for them now guys remember the season is changing so your watering will also change now because it's monsoon season there is a lot of moisture in the air so you will reduce your watering as per the season apart from that guys please do not use any fertilizers please do not feed your succulents it's not because they are dormant but because the environment is very moist damp and cool this is a very good opportunity for a lot of fungus molds and pests to get active so if you're going to feed any nutrition or if you're going to add any organic matter in the soil this is going to boost their growth so you might want to avoid any kind of feeding during the rainy season all you can do is just collect rainwater and provide rainwater for your succulents only when the soil is completely bone dry so the first and the most important thing is that you need to cover your succulents during the rains you do not want the rainwater to fall on the leaves or on the succulents you do not want the rainwater to be sitting on your succulents because there is a high risk that the succulent might get rotted now guys it's very important whatever material that you tend to use to cover your succulent has to be transparent because we do not want the water to fall on them but we want the light to fall on them because if you're going to use any material that does not pass the light through then you're going to have another issue and that is stretching so you definitely do not want your succulents to stretch you want them to be compact in their rosette so you would require a material that can pass the light through so you can use any type of cover as long as it's transparent and it is easily accessible for the light to pass through and fall onto the succulent as you can see these are all my succulents in the balcony they tend to receive a good amount of morning direct sunlight for five to six hours and then afternoon direct sunlight as well now the reason why i'm using this plastic i do not take this plastic off because when it's not raining the plastic tends to filter the direct sunlight and when it's raining because it's a material made out of plastic it does not let the water fall on the succulents so it basically works with both protecting it from direct sunlight as well as protecting it from rain so these are all my succulents that i have rehabilitated them from downstairs because uh, most of them were getting rotted because of constant rains because of the lockdown i was not able to get hold of any plastic sheets so that's the reason why a lot of them were affected with rains but now i have put them in the balcony so that they are much accessible and i'm able to keep a watch on them now guys whenever it starts to rain what i do is i just gently lift the plastic and put it downwards so that there is a slow on this plastic and the water just slips through because if you're going to put the plastic above like the one that i showed you earlier then there is a high chance that the water will get collected on it and it will fall back on the succulent so always ensure that you create a slightly slope 
on your plastic so that whenever it rains the water just slips off like over here as you can see it's such a coincidence that as soon as i was making this video and as soon as i put this plastic down it started to rain so you can see the water is starting to slip off because of the slope but if you keep it in the same position then there is a high chance that the water will get collected in the plastic so now that we have protected our circlids from above there is another important precaution that you need to take now guys as you all all know that we have our succulent pots that do not have stands a lot of our succulent pots completely rest on the ground a lot of us tend to keep our succulents on ground i know some of you have planks but a lot of us who do not have these planks and keep our succulent pots directly on ground so they are in direct contact with ground so during the monsoon season what's going to happen is that even though you have protected your succulents with the help of plastic so the water will not come in contact or the water won't fall on the succulent but if your succulent pot is in direct contact with ground then there is a high chance during the monsoon season the flow will get wet there will be water on the floor so due to this what's going to happen is there will be a capillary action now the capillary action is basically the water will get absorbed through the drain hole when it is in direct contact with ground so all you have to do is just take two rocks and elevate your pot if you do not have pots with stand then this is the only option what you can come up with always elevate your pots during the monsoon season so that they do not come in direct contact with ground so basically guys you can use anything to elevate the pots you can even use a wooden plank or you can use uh, rocks or you can use uh, anything that basically can elevate the pot above the ground or if you do not find rocks you can even use these uh, plastic lid containers that you usually get in your uh, food delivery what you can do is just turn it upside down and place your pot above it so in this way the pot is slightly elevated above the ground and won't come in contact with water but please do not use this lid upside down because this is not going to serve the purpose because when it's going to rain the water will get collected in this and it will again turn into bottom watering so always ensure that the lid is upside down so another important tip now these are my succulents downstairs which are again covered with transparent plastic sheet now guys another important thing to remember never ever let the plastic fall directly on the succulents the plastic should not come in contact with the succulents because when it's going to rain and when the plastic tends to get wet it will stick to the succulents now if succulents have these sharp tips they will make holes in the plastic and the water will enter inside so to overcome this problem what i tend to do is i use a stick in between the succulents so that it creates a tent like effect now there are two benefits of this one is that the plastic will not stick to the succulents secondly there is going to be a good amount of airflow inside the plastic so guys this is very very important you need to let the succulent breathe it's not that you have to tie it so compact that the succulents are not able to breathe and they get suffocated there has to be air circuit at the end of the day they are living beings as well they also tend to do their photosynthesis wherein there is a lot of exchange of gases so they need a good amount of air circulation so just because you want to protect them from rain doesn't mean that you completely make it compact and tight that there is no amount of airflow inside the plastic sheet there has to be a good amount of air circulation otherwise the succulents will get suffocated and that might even harm your succulents now guys another important thing whenever you feel that the weather is clear it's not about to rain what i usually tend to do is i completely lift up the plastic so that they will be able to have some more fresh air whenever it's not raining and you do not need to completely remove the plastic out you can just tuck it somewhere and as soon as it starts to rain you can just put it back i know these are lot of efforts a lot of things that you need to put in especially during the monsoon season but if you want to have healthy and beautiful succulents then you'll have to take these efforts so guys i hope that this video was helpful to you if it was please hit the like button if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing to it until then take care stay safe and keep propagating